Here's a gambling trick that you can do with a regular deck of cards. You'll let the spectator cut the deck as many times as they want, and then you're gonna split the deck, and you're gonna ask them to push the two halves together. They can either just mix them in, or they can do like a riffle, shuffle, just to mix them however they want, and then we'll just mix them up a little more, and then you're gonna deal them into two piles, just like this. And you'll explain to the spectator that once you're done separating these into two piles, we're gonna flip over one card from each pile at a time. And every time those two cards are the same color, you're gonna pay them $100. But every time those two cards are different colors, they'd have to pay you $1. Most people would jump at the chance to take this bet because it seems pretty good odds. So they agree to the bet and you start flipping the cards over one at a time. They owe you $1. Now they owe you $2 of different colors. Different colors, $3, $4, $5, $6, $7, Do you see where this is going. Every single one of these cards, different colors. How is that possible? I mean, they cut the deck, they shuffled the deck into each other, so they know it's random. Yet every single time, they're different colors. At the end of the day, they end up owing you $26. The secret to this trick is super simple. You have to set the deck up in the beginning with every other card, red, black, red, black, red, black, all the way through. When the spectator cuts the deck, it doesn't matter. They can cut as many times as they want, because as you know, that doesn't change the order of the cards, it just changes the starting point. So if they were a black card on top now and they cut to a red card, it would be red, but still be every other card. The shuffle is where it gets interesting though. When you split the cards, if they're two different colors, a red and a black, you're good to go. Let them mix these two in however they want, you know, just shuffle them in and they're good. However, if you had split and they turn out to be the same color card, it's still fine. They could still just mix them in together however they want. Like I said, they could shuffle. They could just push them in. But you would just have to move one card from the bottom to the top or one card from the top to the bottom. That's all. Just to change the order of that one card. And now you're good to go. When you deal these into two piles, they are already going to be separated into opposite colors. Now, they won't all be black and red, but they'll be opposite every other card. So if this one's black, this one will be red. If this one's red, this one will be black. And so on. All the way through the deck. It's a self-working trick and it works every single time.